What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, I'm Gas Money, and today what I got for you guys is the best beginner pop-up build for NBA 2K24. But before we get into the build, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to drop a like, drop a sub. We are not road to 1K, this 2K24, man. So even if we gotta post a thousand videos just to get that 1K, we gonna do it, bro. We gonna do it. We gonna post a thousand videos, whether that's build videos, jump shots, tips and tricks. We got all of that, bro. We got we gonna drop a tips and tricks coming tomorrow. No, no, let me not say tomorrow. Next week for sure. But let's just, let's get into this build, bro. Like I said, we gonna make them six eight power forward. But that's the meta this year. Thank God we don't have a tall meta, but six eight power forward. At first, I had his wingspan at six ten. No, it's not six ten. Probably six eleven. Yeah, at first I had his wingspan at six eleven. But that's not gonna work. And I'm gonna show you guys why that's not gonna work in a second right now. Alright, so heading into this build, we have a main objective. My main objective, you guys are shooting. If you guys have trouble shooting this year, number one. What I've learned from 2K21. If you guys have problems shooting, make a high three-point build, make a high stretch build. Now seeing the shooting is supposedly easier. In this game, that 2K21, my 2K21 stretch out of like a 95-3. So with that being said, we don't probably need a 95-3. We could be good with an 84. Mind you, I can still shoot consistently in the wreck with a 76-3, but when it comes to park delay, it's just not for me, bro. So with that being said, we are going to be a stretch. You see the all the gold badges and all the fame badges that I have when it comes to this stretch build right here but also another reason why i upgraded my pass accuracy to 68 we don't really need that much pass accuracy bro this is a park build mainly but we can use it in the wreck the main thing i want to have is a 70 ball handle just to get a blow by my defender seeing that i'm a stretch i'm not really like a finishing or like a lockdown but like i said we, we can give myself a little ball handle just so i can maneuver but what I noticed this year when it comes to making a stretch build, we don't want to make him a total defensive liability. We don't have to do that. We actually can make a good stretch build this year. Seeing of um, some people, they don't even have offensive rebound on their build. So with that being said, we don't need to go high, really too high on rebounds. We can go with an 80 or 85 defensive, 70 offensive rebound and have like a high interior bra. Especially when it comes to those post scores, because when those post scores see you go, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, he's a stretch. Nah, we're going to have a high interior, and we're going to have a high strain, bro. So we, we're not going to be like that a weak-ass post score, bro. I mean, weak-ass stretch. We're not going to do that. We're going to have a 92 strain. We have gold post-move lockdown, and that's and that's how we're going to be, bro. Like I said, we're not going to be a weak post score. But you see me adjusting my stats right here, just trying to get the most of what I can out of this build. Until I told you guys that I realized that it only makes sense to get gold box out beast by having an 85, I think it's an 85 defensive rebound. It only makes sense, so we just need to put my wingspan to 7 foot just so we can meet that requirement. But we're still going to have the gold and Hall of Fame badges when it comes to my shooting, but that is the only requirement we're going to have. Um, and it only makes sense, but it only makes sense to put that at an 85. Um, and just go from there speed we're gonna we're gonna have a high enough speed we still gonna be like a center but we're gonna be a stretch so when our guard who's iso and they they hit us in the corner mid-range mid-range gonna be butter we have a 96 um we have a high mid-range we have a 90 something mid-range so mid-range we're gonna be butter it's 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 that simple so like i said we only put my wingspan up just so i could have that gold box of beast and like I said, we're we gonna get our rebounds, bro. We have 85 rebounds, 70 defensive. I've seen some guys don't even have an offensive rebound, bro. So we, we definitely gonna be straight. Um, chase down, we got it on bronze, but like I said, we're we gonna be good, bro. We're gonna be good. You see me have 94 feet. I mean, it's a 94 feet or fast speed, whatever the body is called. And we have a high perimeter. Now, the build with the goal with this build is not to steal. Every time your build tries to steal inside this game, just like next gen 2k23 he gets kind of a weird animation so i don't recommend trying to steal in this build but we can play perimeter d interior d that's the main objective so you don't have to steal bro you just gotta put your hands up jump up and do what you gotta do we got bronze anchor so we're gonna be good enough so if you guys like the build video it's many boy i'm guess money and uh, stay tuned for more man